Christmas shop on our left hand side, which is open 12 months a year. All these buildings, look at this one on the right. Kennedy's, look at the windows on the top, so old. As we refurbished two years ago, they put the old windows back in. The pump view cannot be changed. This is where Upper Canada all began, Hoof Toronto all began, as I mentioned this morning, for military reasons. Lieutenant Simcoe had to get out of the Native Americans across the river. Are they cannons flying into this in the town all the way back to the old mind? There's the second of three theater, the Royal George, on the right hand side. Now, Lieutenant Simcoe went 26 miles across the lake, brought the meeting place, presently to all of today, and reestablished the town of York in 1790. Take a look at the umbrella shop on the right, both of the handbags over there. Now, coming up on our left-hand side is White Building. This is now called the Gatehouse Hotel. That was the original Law Society of Upper Canada, where two lawyers uh, admitted to the power to practice their profession. There's a restaurant. The president that was established in 1799, mm -hmm. and the president of Law Society is in Toronto, established in Toronto in 1827, and named after the first Chief Justice of Upper Canada, so very about this. There's Red Pickering on the right. That was done in the 1820s. Here's another 1820s era building coming up. This is a museum. Take a look at this. They're refurbishing this building. That front view stays the same. They're peeling the paint off of it, see? And they'll repaint it. The Charles Inn on our right hand side, established in 1832. This is also another historical landmark. The motel and the restaurant. Now let's get back to Fort, uh, Fort George for a while. Yeah? Take a look at 